All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, today, I'm going to be telling you about what the heck all that paper is in the flight deck that's uh, spitting out by that printer up there. So first of all, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. It just helps uh, keep things moving forward with the channel here. And it helps me out, so thanks for doing that. So kind of the way this came about, I, I had an idea to do this. Um, we had a pastor come up to the flight deck the other day just to kind of take a look around and, and see what's going on up there. And one of the things they noticed was, um, you know, hey, first of all, you know, I didn't even know you had a, a paper printer up here, first of all. And uh, second of all, what the heck is all that paper anyways, and what are you doing with all that? So I thought uh, this might be a good one to, to answer for folks out there. So what I did was I, I saved all the paperwork that we print out of our airplane printer from one uh, flight that we did from San Francisco to Seattle the other day. And uh, it's interesting because every time we go out and operate the airplane, we pretty much print the exact same things, the exact same times. We do the same thing in you know, the same way every day when we go out and fly with some small exceptions. So I figured I'd just really quickly walk you through each and every one of the pieces of paper that we printed out the other day on our flight. I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about them and uh, what, what they're there for and what we do with them. So uh, the very first one uh, here, this is uh, the San Francisco uh, Airport ATIS. So this is just the departure weather, you know, what's going on um, from the airport that we're, uh, or at the airport that we're leaving from. You know, we need to figure out, you know, what sorts of weather elements we're dealing with when we, when we take off and and uh, you know, just just to know what's going on at the airports, so we'll we'll get the the weather report for the uh, departure station. Um, we'll also at the same time print out um, a ATIS or a weather report for the landing station, and this just kind of helps us when we program the box. I mean, we can figure out what runways they're using um, at the arrival station, and we can just kind of yeah, kind of work up an initial game plan. Like I said, program the box for a. a a run or a landing on the on the specified runway we think we're going to get when we arrive um, at our destination. Uh, the next thing that we'll print out uh, this comes out about um, 30 minutes or exactly 30 minutes we can get it uh, prior to uh, our departure time. This is our, our PDC or pre-departure clearance. So what this this is, is is our air traffic control clearance. It basically tells us you know how we're going to get from A to B. It's got our transponder code. It's got our initial climb altitude. It's got a couple other pieces of data. Um, but yeah, this is basically just, you know, like I said, our, our route um, or our cleared route with air traffic control. So we'll print that out, keep that for reference. Uh, the next thing that comes in is uh, sh uh, right after we've closed the door, uh, the station at, at about this time is sending in uh, data to the load planners. It tells them, you know, how many bags are on the airplane, what's the final people count. Uh, so they'll, they'll send us this kind of verification that's just our load closeout. So it just has a bunch of numbers on here, like I said, that, that depict all those different things and some various weights and things that we're, uh, we're planning to be at, you know, when we take off essentially. So um, our load closeout sheet. Um, after we get our load closeout sheet, we'll kind of accomplish a couple things in the box and we'll send off a request to AeroData and um, we'll get... Uh, a printout or a, uh, some data back. This is our takeoff data. So for every takeoff that we do, we're, we're calculating things for the, the fuel conditions, the actual weight of the airplane, you know, all, all sorts of different atmospheric things that the thing uh, looks at uh, to derive, you know, these takeoff speeds and the flap setting and all this kind of different stuff that we want to use. So we'll, we'll print that out and keep that for reference uh, when we make our takeoff. Uh, the next thing that we printed out uh, was our um, our fuel prediction, uh, sometimes called a how goes it. So, um, you know, we, we do our um, our planning. You know, we get a, a dispatch flight release 90 minutes before our departure time. And of course, we're looking at things when we program the box and initialize it. But um, right after we depart, we get this automated message that comes in from dispatch. And this is just basically a snapshot of like, hey, here's, you know, the current, you know, wind conditions that we've calculated. And this is like, you know, you took off at this time with this much fuel on board. And it gives us this kind of um, this chart that we can use to track and say, all right, you know, well, now we're predicting to be at such and such a waypoint with such and such fuel at such and such a time. So it's just kind of like an added added thing that we can use to track our progress as we go from point A to point B. And, and you know, like I said, really just... Um, you know, to help us watch out our, our fuel planning and everything. So print that out. We'll reference it uh, throughout the course of the flight. Uh, the next thing that we'll print, uh, this comes in about an hour uh, before we land. Uh, this is our arrival uh, station information. Um, and uh, it just kind of has some basic information about where we're going to park the airplane, what services are available. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff, but um, tells us where the airplane is going next. So it's just kind of, um, like I said, just some inf information so we can know what's going to happen when we get down on the ground. 
And then the last one here that I printed out, I mean, this, this could kind of come through in about an hour, but sometimes it could be later uh, at a later point in time. But certainly, you know, no later than about 30 minutes prior to landing, we'll get our finer, final arrival ATIS. And this, of course, just tells us the most updated thing. You know, what's happening at the airfield right now? You know, what runway and approach can we plan on? What are the what are the weather conditions, all that kind of good stuff. So um, that uh, is all the paper, uh, like I said, that we printed out and used on our flight from San Francisco to Seattle the other day. So hope you all have a great day. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll talk to you again real soon.